the most expensive street in the world? Maybe. Join me for a Periscope as I walk up New York's Fifth Avenue. To see more of my scopes, find me on Periscope and on Twitter. So at this corner, we have Saks Fifth Avenue there. We have St. Patrick's right there. St. Patrick's, hey England. We have St. Patrick's right there. And then right here, that tall building there is 30 Rockefeller Center, uh, which has NBC and is the, the main building of, um, of Rockefeller Center. Rockefeller Center goes for many blocks. That is very cool, isn't it? goes for many blocks, but that's the, I guess you could say that's the anchor building. So that's there. So this little intersection here has a lot of landmarks on it. And you know, New York is kind of rich in history. I mean, this block here is kind of a good example. You have this relatively, you know, new building. I don't know how old it is. Um, it is very beautiful. Deborah is very beautiful. I'm not a religious person, but I have gone in there just to admire the, uh, the, the architecture. Uh, but this is a you know relatively new building, a modern building, and then you have it right next to a cathedral that's you know I think that was built in the, I want to say the 1850s, but I'm not sure. But you know a long time ago, and you know for whatever reason, you know they sort of fit right. Such a contrast, but they fit, and you see that all over New York. So that's the Versace store right there, and I pointed out because I think that is the structure itself is the uh, same structure that the original townhouse was um, along the Avenue, where they set up line with modern stores and high-rises that, um, you know, that's, that's sort of representative of what a townhome might look like, you know, in, around the turn of the, 19th, turn of the 20th century. So this is St. Thomas Church, it's an Episcopal Church, and I only know that because uh, that's what the sign says there. Um, I don't know, let's see if you can see what it is I don't know. I know it's an older church. You can kind of see some of the architecture there. Oh, that might be a date. Anno Domini. How are people with their Roman numerals? I'm going to guess that is 1911. So that's probably about 1911. That is a nice store, isn't it? Let's zoom out. and some interesting architecture above it. That is nice. Where are your favorite place to go there? My favorite place in New York, I would say, I mean, I have a lot. I've always, um, <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it translates, doesn't it, Victoria? That translates to very old. FAO Schwartz used to be right there, and as you can see, there are blinds covered down. Uh, and they closed, they had many locations in New York, but they were continuously open for one but they recently closed down. And they were around since, mm, I want to say 110 years, it was at least 100 years. And the Plaza Hotel was first constructed in 1907, I believe. It's had several owners in that time, but um, the structure's been around since 1907. It's been in a ton of movies, celebrities have stayed here. Uh, President's royalty, that sort of thing. So this is the Plaza Hotel, world famous Plaza Hotel, uh, right there. You know, a New York landmark, another New York landmark, and that brings us to Central Park. Maybe I'll end on the Plaza. That's a nice wide shot of it. And thanks, first class. Um, please follow if you like, and I'll see you guys soon. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.